Welcome, welcome to Armchair Based Yoga, brought to you from Soup to Tomatoes here in Aspinola. And from me, Renee, a registered nurse, personal trainer, older adult certified trainer, as well as uh, yoga level one and two. So welcome. We begin in good posture with our feet pointing forward, shoulders back, chest out, reaching down with our fingertips. We take a deep breath in. Good. I'm the only one doing this, so maybe... Here, let's try it again. Okay. Here, so take a deep breath. We begin in our mountain pose. Good, good. Shoulders back, chest out, chin in. And we just begin to press into our feet to ground our position to press into our sit bones, sitting as tall as we can, to begin to engage our muscles, get out of our thoughts and into the body. So big deep breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Think about your feet. Let's think about our feet right now. Our feet grounding our position, pressing into the earth, pressing into our big toes. And then working our way up to our sit bones, to our abdominals, pulling in, our shoulders back, down and together, our fingers reaching towards the earth. Another big deep breath here. Good. And let's take two or three more deeper breaths. Notice what there is to notice. Letting go of everything but the breath and the body. So let's begin by inhaling and reaching up with a little bit of a mountain flow. So just really basic reaching up, pressing the hands together. And begin to notice where your awareness is. Is it in your body right now? Is it in your breath? In your palms? In your feet, grounding your position? Let's just take a big deep breath. And if we like, we can make the position a little more challenging by looking up. But you do not have to. We can look straight ahead. We can rest at any time. Yoga is beautiful. Inhaling, reaching up. And exhaling, bringing the hands to the heart center. One more time. And take our time. If we go a little slower, perfect. We find ourselves returning to mountain to realign. We take a deeper breath. Exhale fully, rolling the shoulders back. In fact, let's go into chest expansion. So pressing the palms back or intertwining the fingers and reaching back. Let's tuck the chin in. Let's take a deeper breath here. Reaching back a little further. And then one more. And then if we choose, we can look up slightly. One more deep breath. And we inhale and hold the position. Exhale, release it down. Then we're gonna come back to our mountain flow. We're gonna turn it into crescent moon. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, gently to one side, still reaching. Inhale, reach up. Exhale gently to the other side, still reaching. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release down. Good. And we repeat that again. Feel free to sit at the back of your seat if you need a little more um, support. Up here, reaching. Exhale, over. Now another option, as you know, is you can keep the arms down. Exhale. Inhale and reach, pressing into both feet. Exhale down. So this next one's our opportunity 
to get it a little bit further. So let's inhale and reach. Reach, reach, reach with your fingers as high as you can. Exhale gently over. Feel it. Inhale and reach up. Exhale gently over to the other side. Inhale, reach up. We're going into forward fold this time. So we're going to exhale all the way down. Give our legs a little hug. Relax our head fully. Hold here for two more deep breaths. Deeper breaths. Grab your ankles if you like. Big toe. Relax your head fully. One more deep breath. Even roll the shoulders a little bit. It feels fantastic. On the next inhale, we're going to come up halfway. Shoulders back, chest out, chin in, hands on the side of the calves. Take a deep breath here. Exhale and reach up, holding your position, just reaching up. You do not have to look up. You can just try to think about looking down or to the side. Inhale here. Exhale, reach up with the other side. Inhale, return, realign, shoulders back, chest out. Exhale, reach up. Beautiful. Inhale, return. Exhale, reach up. And then one more on each side. I want you to really notice where you feel this as you reach up. Inhale, return, shoulders back, chest out, chin in. Exhale, up. Inhale, return. Exhale, deeper forward fold. So relax yourself fully down. Inhale, reverse swan dive or press yourself up slowly. That's it. Returning to our mountain pose. Fantastic. So let's sit up nice and tall here. We're going to take our arms out to either side. Take a deep breath here as we reach our fingertips out. And then exhale over to one side, placing opposite hand to knee. Inhale and reach up. Exhale over. Inhale, return. Exhale out. Inhale, return to tall. Exhale, other side. Opposite hand to knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale over. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release. Inhale, return. Beautiful. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach the free hand up. Exhale, over. Inhale, exhale. And then we return to the front one last time. Big deep breath. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach up. Beautiful. Exhale over. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. And then we come all the way back. In fact, let's release our hands here. Make sure knees are over ankle. And we'll go into the half series. So we begin in our Sphinx pose. We exhale to cat. Rolling our tailbone back. Inhale, chest out, hip forward. Exhale, chest down. Elbows tight. Inhale, pressing up, back to Sphinx. Exhale, roll back for cat. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, press up. And then one more time. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, chest out, hip forward. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, come up nice and tall. So today we're going to go from a wide position. Because warrior two is easier to achieve here. And the option is that you can keep your legs here or stretch one out. So this is warrior two. So here or here. Okay? Both are planted. We inhale, we reach our arms out on top of our hips. Take a big deep breath, looking over the, the lead leg. So this is my lead leg here, the one that's bent. But if you choose one, then that's your lead leg. 
Take a deep breath and reach forward. Exhale, release the hand down to the knee and reach up. Beautiful. Exhale, windmill your arm all the way around and up. Exhale, around. Inhale, reach up. Or the hand can be reaching down. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Notice where you feel it in your body. Exhale, reach through the fingers, pressing into those feet. One more. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, overhead. Really reach through those fingers. Two more deep breaths. One more. This is called side angle. Looks really good. Windmill the arm all the way up. Fantastic. Bring the other knee in, and then we're going to remember which leg you did. We're going to walk it back in for the half series. So in good posture, shoulders back, chest out. We exhale and roll back. We inhale, chest out, shoulders back, hip forward, elbows tight, exhale down. Inhale, press up. Very good. Exhale, roll back. Abs in. Inhale, chest out. Beautiful. Exhale, chest down. Inhale, come up. And then one more time. Feel the stretches in your back. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale down when you're ready. Inhale, come up. Beautiful, beautiful. From here, we're going to widen the stance to knees over ankles, toes in the same direction. We can stay here or take one leg out. We take our arms out, and this is warrior two in a seated position, looking over the lead hand. Big deep breath here. We reach forward. Beautiful. Exhale, rest on the knee or reach down. Inhale, reach up. Pressing into both feet, we exhale and windmill that arm down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, windmill. That looks really good, everyone. Beautiful warrior twos. Reach up, shoulders back, chest out. Exhale, reach down. Notice the stretches for your back here on the arm that's windmilling. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach down, and then we hold it up, and then we go overhead for side angle, reaching overhead as far as we can, two more deep breaths, rolling the shoulder back, pressing into both feet, feeling, feeling, one more deep breath, inhale, reach up and windmill that arm to let you come back, very good, bring that knee in. We're going to walk it in, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, back to the standing position. Very good, very good indeed. So from here, we're going to return to our mountain pose. We're going to take three deep breaths here, getting nice and tall, tucking our chin in. Good. Feel what happens in the body as we take a deep, deep breath. So let's do that again. Big, deep breath. And exhale fully, slowly. Beautiful. Let's inhale and reach up, up, up. Bringing the hands together. And then we're going to separate our elbows and bring them to either side of our bodies. Squeezing them in tight. We're going to reach one foot out. Heel pressing out. Inhale, opposite arm, reaching up. Very good. This is called seated spinal balance. Press into the foot that's down. Lift the foot up if you can. Reach up, one more deep breath. Exhale, return that leg down. Return the elbow in. Inhale, press the other heel out. Flex foot. Inhale, reaching up with the opposite hand. Very good. Shoulders back, chest out, lift the leg for a deeper, stronger movement. One more deep breath. Now we're going to flow through that. Exhaling, returning to our tall position. 
Inhaling, spinal balance, opposite arm and leg. Exhale, return. Inhale and reach through your heel, through your fingers. Exhale, return. Inhale and reach. Exhale, return. One more time. And return. Now let's see if we got this right. We're going to inhale and reach. Take a deep breath here. And you're going to come in with your elbow. Five crunches. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Ooh, you guys are moving around. Exhale. Inhale and reach. That's it. Exhale. Inhale and reach. Two more. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. And then one more. Okay, one more breath. Hold it. Hold it. Lift it. One more breath. And down. Woo! Right? All right. Other side. Other side. That's as much enthusiasm. Reaching. Flex foot. One more deep breath. And then exhale. Crunch in. Inhale and reach. Exhale, crunch in. Reach through the heel, through the fingers, like you're getting stretched. Exhale, come in. Beautiful, beautiful. Reach, reach, reach through the heel, through the fingers. Exhale. Last one. Make sure your heel is pressing. Oh, yes. Exhale. Inhale, let's hold it, hold it, feel it, get in the body. Yeah, good. One more deep breath. And then release. Oh, you want to release it so bad. Fantastic, fantastic. Because you have to be in the body at that point, don't we? So that's a beautiful thing, that is. So I want to work on our warrior one position. So we're going to walk over to one side of the chair. Just like this. So usually this is part of our salutation, but today we're going to dissect it. So sitting on the side of the chair, we sit at the very edge so our cheek is hanging off here. We begin to walk one foot back. Now see my knee is still following the rules of alignment and my hip and shoulder are as well. I begin to take my leg back so I can feel the stretch in the front body. Looks good. Now, if you already feel it, you're in a good place. If you need to feel it more, press the heel back or walk the foot back further. Inhale and reach up. Press the heel back for a deeper position. One more deep breath here. Now, usually we take this hand and reach down. But today, we're going to take the other hand. So opposite hand, the hand that's near the backrest, is going to reach back and reach up with the other. Two more deep breaths here. And then one more. Good. Release the hand down. Release the leg. And then we're going to come to the other side. So walking it all the way over to the other side. Again, knee over ankle here, and you can begin right here. If you feel it here, you got it. If you need to take it back a little further to feel it, right? It's your journey, so make sure you feel it in a safe way. Good. Press the heel back if you can. Begin to reach up. Big deep breath here. Hip hips forward, rib cage forward, heel pressing back for a deeper stretch. One more deep breath. Now we're going to take the arm, the same as is next to the backrest, and reach down the back of our bodies, even if it's just a little bit. And exhale and reach up, pressing the heel back. Two more deep breaths. This is called Reverse Warrior. Good. And release. Good job. Good job. So a little harder version of warrior one, but very good job. So most important stretch of the day, the hamstring stretch. So taking one foot out, and then
And then again, the alignment in this knee over this ankle, soft knee here, flexed foot here. Shoulders back, chest out, press the chest forward. Tuck the chin in. Now you should begin to feel the top of the hamstring or the calf. If the stretch is all on the back of the knee, soften the knee. Take a deeper breath and press the chest a little more forward. Release the hands and the head down and take two more deeper breaths here. Good job. And then gently walk it up. Gently. Gently. Good job. Good job, everyone. And then the other side. I so love it when I see people kind of linger in the stretches, right? It means that they're getting more comfortable with the discomfort. So knee over ankle, foot flexed, knee soft, chest pressing forward. Notice where the stretch is. If it's all in the back of the knee, soften the knee. Keep the foot flexed. Take a deeper breath and see if you can release the hands and the head down. Take two more deeper breaths. Try to exhale, walk your hands a little more forward. Relax your head a little more. Very good. And then gently, gently begin to walk it back up very good very good so let's do the top of the eagles pose so the bottom of the eagles pose all about the legs top of it is all about the shoulder so very basically we start with the horizontal shoulder stretch so you bring the arm forward and then in, but already I'm positioning my elbows to be in the position that I need them. Yes, for our eagle. So roll the shoulder blade down. So depending on your anatomy, you may not have the ability to get the elbows all the way together, and that's okay. Try to bring both arms straight or intertwine them. Gently lift the elbows up, so elbows into each other, Elbows. <laughs> and then gently down. Okay. We'll try again after. No worries. All right, let's do the other side now. So reaching out. And then bring the arm all the way forward. Pull it into your body with the other arm. There you go. Pull the shoulder blade down. Bring both arms up. Already this changes the stretch. Maybe intertwine the hands. Lift the elbow gently. Notice how it feels. And then gently bring it down. Roll the shoulders down with you. See? Better this time, huh? Good job. Good job. Sometimes it's a little bit to get these these kind of moves. So be patient with yourself. It's only yoga practice. So no worries. All right, let's release it. Shake those arms out. One more stretch before we relax. It's the next stretch, right? The next stretch. Because most of you drive, I bet, or at least some of you. So we need to stretch our necks. So with your body forward, you're going to take your gaze over one shoulder. Now I want you to notice where it starts to get tight. And you can kind of feel on your neck which are the ones that are tight here. And then bring it back to the front. Shoulders back, chest out. Take your gaze to the other shoulder. And I want you to notice if there's any difference. Keep the shoulders back, the chest out. Good. And then back to center, and then one more, ear to one shoulder. And just notice, pull the shoulders down, you'll get a deeper stretch. And then up, and to the other side. Good. Take a deep breath. Good. And then return. 
Good job, good job. So just relax here. Maybe your hands are down and supported. One option is to touch the fingers. How we touch our fingers is called mudra. So it helps to connect us to our hands. So we can have them supported like down or up unsupported. I like down personally and I like to touch my index. But you can choose which you want to touch, if at all. From this position, we roll our shoulders down, begin to close our eyes and take a few deep breaths. Now while our eyes are closed, and as we take big deep breaths, let's notice which part of our bodies is already feeling very relaxed. Let's just notice, are our toes relaxed? Are our legs? Is one leg more relaxed than the other? Is our torso relaxed? Hands, shoulders, face, mind. Just begin to notice which part of our bodies are now relaxed and which are not. Take a few deep breaths. And imagine how the parts that are not relaxed now want to feel relaxed. Take a few deep breaths. Begin to notice the sense of relaxation spreading all over. All over into each of our cells, into each of our muscles, our nervous system, our minds, everywhere. If we can imagine but the times when we're sleeping or relaxing, our bodies heal themselves. We use that time to rebuild tissue, to strengthen, to heal. So the time we rest is as important as the times when we're active. Let's take a few more deep breaths. Just make sure our whole bodies, our minds are relaxed. And from that relaxed body, that relaxed mind, let's find ourselves building, building strength, building energy, vitality from that relaxed position. So thinking about our legs and arms, our torsos, our arms, our chest, our minds, our faces, waking up, feeling fantastic and refreshed. Good job today. Good job. And namaste to all of you. Thank you so much. And I see you all get stronger every single time. So good job. And thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Namaste to each of you.